Now I'll show you how to make a setup on the machine. The first thing we're going to do is go to 5 8 diameter. Uh, what we have to do is we have to adjust our tool holder in and out to set it to the proper uh, dimension. We do this with the aid of a set of setting gauges. These are the gauges. They're numbered for the different diameters. Each time you purchase a set of collets, you get one setting gauge that correspondingly goes with that collet. We're going to go to 5 8 diameter. So we'll take our 5 8 inch setting gauge, put it into the head. We'll adjust the tool holder down until we can just fit the gauge into the head. From there, we will lock down the wedge, which holds the tool holder in place. Then we'll take our set of 5 8 inch collets. We'll put one on the left hand side. The screw comes down at an angle here from the top that holds that collet in place. And we'll put the, the right handed one in. This is this screw. Okay, so we set our head, we set our collets. The knob right over on this side sets how far the head comes forward. Okay, if we want more or less chamfer, we'll adjust that as you'll see here in a minute. The distance between the housing here and this set of nuts is our rapid traverse. When we initially step on the foot pedal, you'll see the, ho the housing will wrap it up to this point. From here forward, it goes in slow feed to actually make the cut. This needle valve on top of the machine up here controls that fine feed once it, once it hits the stop. I'll cycle the machine to, to show you. You'll see it'll wrap it to here, make a slow, slow move to actually make the cut, and then wrap it back. Okay, next we're going to change the machine over to do one and a quarter inch diameter parts. We need to remove our set of collets. By loosening the two screws. Okay, and then we'll have to readjust our tool, tool holder like we did before. We'll come in here and we'll loosen the wedge. We'll rotate the head over. We'll find our one and a quarter inch setting gauge. And we'll move the tool holder out until the gauge goes into the head. Okay. We'll lock our wedge back down. Okay. We'll find our set of inch and a quarter collets. And there's a rack on the side of the machine here to hold all your collets. We'll put in the left-handed collet. Let's 
follow the right-handed collet. Okay. So we've adjusted our head, we've adjusted our collet. I'm going to turn the feed knob in just a little bit. And what this will do, it'll allow us to adjust uh, our amount of chamfer. Okay. Turn the machine on. Pull it down a little bit. Put the car in. Take the test cut. Probably a little more than we want. So we just adjust it back. Next, we're going to go to two and a half inch. Again, we'll take our collets out, store them in our rack. We'll loosen the wedge, shave it off of there. Turn our head over. Again, find the correct gauge, in this case two and a half inches. And we'll move the tool holder out. Two, two and a half inches. Okay. Rotate it back around. Lock our wedge down in place. Find our two and a half inch collets. Again, put the left one in first. Right one in. No need to tighten them real tight, just snug it up a little bit. Again, we're going to turn our knob in some. This decreases the, the travel of the head and we can adjust our amount of chamfer we want after we get it going.